Hi guys, welcome to our board game room. I just wanted to just show you our collection as of May 2023. Right now, these are games that we're considering selling so we can make some more room over here. We got Stop Thief, classic great game. We might not, probably won't sell that one. Uh, let's see, this game, Tour of London, is from Waddington. It's a good little game. It's it's really roll and move, but it's simple. More for kids, probably. Uh, we have an extra copy of a couple of these. And here's one, Rumble. This one is called the ultimate board game uh, we haven't yet to play this i probably ought to play it but it's a pretty you know basic looking game i'm kind of curious how it works we have not yet played it uh, right here this is an old electronic chess set that we're going to try to sell uh so let's see clue great museum caper we definitely need to bring that one out again soon uh right here we got a uk version of monopoly uh star wars episode one uh, what is that one called? I can't remember what that one's called, but that's like a 3D game. We have to get the completed parts for it. Uh, here's some more. Um, just a lot of these games we just don't play anymore. And we're trying to make room for some other games. Alright, so right over here, we got Rumble in the Jungle. We found us at a thrift store. We It's missing a couple of parts, so we got to find those parts. Forgot about this game. We have the House of Danger, Boggle Master um super scrabble if you find this game at a thrift store i would get it because it's worth about 50 dollars now um crocodile hunter this is another one we need to get the parts for this one's missing a couple of parts okay so now we're going to go to the shelves uh we have some games that we have not played yet like this one called heist we do have not played yet there's a bunch of like uno uh different uh variants there uh, so a lot of these games we have are like either Kickstarters or some newer games the publisher was uh, asking us to do reviews on. Uh, Herdvana, this is one of them. This is a fun little game. Uh, this one, basically you're trying to just make sets of animals and farms. I enjoy this game. It's a fun game. It was a Kickstarter. Uh, Pit, my favorite card game I think of all time is that one right there. All uh, right. Patchwork. This is a current, more current game. This is like one of my favorite games to play. If you like, uh, it, it's a great game, I think. Uh, some of these, again, are going to be from companies. This is from Dr. Finn's Games. He makes some good little games. The Little Flower Shops are a good game. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some of the Munchkins. How to Rob a Bank. Pencil First Games made this Sunset Over Water. They're, they make some really good puzzle games. Point Salad from AEG. Great game. Okay, so some more of these games. Uh, that old wallpaper from AEG. Um, this is a good little uh, puzzle type game, I guess. You're just basically building wallpaper. Uh, let's see here. What else? Um, these are from 3M Bookshelf. This is Trice. It's a great game. Monad. Great game. And then up here we have, uh, what is it called? Venture. Fantastic card game. That was made from Sid Saxon. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we got a game called Ion. We got some games here from Genius Games, and I love their games. They make games based on science and biology. All right, Castles of Burgundy card game. This is like one of my favorite games. Is Castles of Burgundy a more current thing? Uh, here's some games on flowers. Let's see what else. Uh, Archaeology, great game. And uh, this one was an interesting Kickstarter, Mardi Gras Madness. Um, it's a good game. If you've ever been to a Mardi Gras, that's basically what it is. You're basically trying to get sets of things that are thrown from floats. It's fun. All right, we'll go over here. All right, so see here where we at. Okay, we'll go over here. In this section, we got a bunch of dice games here. We got some Farkle, uh, Martian dice. Uh, here we go. Ar Army, was it Army versus Aliens? Uh, let's see here. Wombat Combat, that was another Kickstarter. That's a good little game. Meanwhile at the Con, um, this is a game that's based at a uh, game convention. It's a cool idea, a good game. Um, it's just some more things here. Arkansas Bluff, this game it basically plays like Liar's Dice with cards. Waterworks, great game. Super Mega Lucky Box, this is a game that my wife and I really like a lot. All right, let's see here. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I've seen that in a few thrift stores. All right, so down here we got some, uh, these are some of the games we've gotten to review here. Tiny Towns, this is a game based on the periodic table, and these are from Genius Games. I really like their games a lot, because they take games, uh, or they take things like biology, for example, and this is about a cell, and they make it into a 
This one's a worker placement game. I think it's, they, they make some fantastic games, I think. Uh, just some more things. Genotype is good. Shores of Tripoli is... They, they're just a lot of these really good games that I've really enjoyed that are the more... You know, that are Kickstarters here. All right. So, going to the card games we have. I'll just show you these. Uh, let's see. This was another Kickstarter. This is a fantastic game. Japer, of course. Great game. All right. And I have... I'm using a, a CD tower to store these things. And I just put it sideways. Um, but we got a lot of different card games here. And let's see here. This is Exploding Kittens. All right. So now we go to this shelf. Solar Quest. That's a good game. It just takes a while to play. I'm going to just do this a section at a time here. Great game here. Uh, Payday. Classic. Option is... They made a lot of little word games back then. And this is another one. But this has the option of being able to flip over your word tiles. I'm going to do a review on this game soon. Uh, Thunder Road Sliders. Uh, there are some games here I would like to get to review for sure here. Uh, here's another one called Slip Disc. Uh, this has a contraption that basically spits these discs out and you're trying to get those discs matched up on your side. Um, Silly Golf Vaughn. Uh... Let's see here. My son loves this game. Let's see. Risk Lord of the Rings Masterpiece. This is a great game. Uh, this game has definitely gone up in price, but if you can find a copy, I would get it. It's a fun little game for sure. Um, Duet Bridge. Two-player bridge. Um, you know, I, I was actually kind of getting interested in bridge for a little bit there. It's an interesting game, but mainly for the bidding. This was one I got for my birthday. I really like this game a lot. Ready, Set, Bet. That was another one I got to review. Love that game. Uh, Marvel Dice Throne. Forbidden Sky. Bumps and Worms. Now, this is a... Uh, I think this is still on Kickstarter. It's a game based on dragons, and you're basically playing the part of a dragon, which is really cool. Uh, the, these are some of the more current games that I've got. I'm just showing you. Uh, Dune, Anti-Monopoly. Let's see, 13 Dead End Drive. Climbing Knights. This is a great looking game. This is a 3D game and it's about three feet tall, I think. It's great. Crib Golf. This is the best version of life that I think is out right now. It's a Star Wars version. Jedi's Path. Choir is a great game. Um, this was a cool game that uh, actually I think the person making it said it was in the 15th year. And they've got it released now. It's a good game. Extinction. This game right here is probably the best game that I've ever seen that was not published by a major company. It's very plain looking, but it's a I love the way this game plays. I need to review that one too. Okay, so here on the bottom we got some more older stuff. Uh Ticket to Ride. I found a bunch of these mastermind games. This one's like a four player version of it right here. Here we got Classic Dungeon, Mugshots, Mugshots I'm going to have to review this one, too. But this one is based on... Uh, back in the day, this is how they would try to like identify suspects. And you're basically just trying to uh, match... Uh, match. Uh, I'm trying to remember what you do in this game. Oh, that's right. You look at a face, and you're trying to basically match up the face that you saw. All right. So here we got Red Letter. This is a really good uh, word game. Dealer's Choice is great. These are some classic... Uh, Older games here that I really enjoy. All right. So now we're going to go over here. I still have to give this to my uh, my chiropractor. He uh, has... I gave him the ET game, but I forgot to give him the ship that goes with it. All right. So just some more games. Here's 10. Uh, this is a cool pressure luck game um, that has a marketplace. It's cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sushi Go, of course. Let's see here. Deuce. Fun little card game here. Uh, take away. All right, now we get to some of my favorites, the 3M bookshelf games. These games, some of these games are fantastic. I mean, I, I like all of them, but there's a few here. Like Twix, great game. Um, Breakthrough, High Bid. High Bid's a great game. Owari, that's like a take on Mancala. Mr. President is my favorite out of all of them. This is, I love the way this game works. Um, they use the box like as a ballot thing. And I know they do that a lot now, but this game was made in the seventies and they were already doing a chess feudal, um, bizarre, great game. 
Sid Saxon did a, a good portion of these games over here. Saxon 5 I th is a lot like Scattergories, but it's I like it better than Scattergories, actually. Let's see what we got down here. Uh, Gender Quake. That was a Kickstarter. Uh, Rail Baron. Great, great, great game. Um, for sure. And Mexican Drain Dominoes. All right. We've got three shelves left, guys. <laughs> All right. So that's Bankers and Brokers up there. Blocus Trigon or Blockus. Uh, let's see here. Dish them out. That, that's a good game if you like, uh, restaurant theme games all right uh let's see escape the mad mummy i love this game dragon strike like that game um let's see here black fleet looks right over here it's a good great pirate game skipbo deluxe uh my wife's favorite game is skipbo for sure all right we found this game here called monster crunch and it's the breakfast battle game you get to choose one of these four uh, Breakfast Monsters. It's a pretty interesting game. Fall of Rome, great game. Uh, funny business. Let's see here. Phase 10 Twist. That's a good version. Found this game at a thrift store called Costa Rica, and it's a review type game. Uh, really nice game. I like it. All right. Uh, Jurassic World. Okay, so down here we got Knights of Charlemagne. That's a quick, easy little game to play. Royal Kismet. Best version of Yahtzee, I think, that exists right now. Bridge for two. Uh, free parking. Great. Uh, this is a good card game. Old old card game here. And uh, here's a Kazink from the Jax Corporation. They made a uh, sequence. They made a lot of good games, and that one's no different. Triple four, same thing. Uh, patchwork, Pandemic here. And let's see what we got down here. Okay, so we got Fences. That was a Kickstarter. This is a really good game right here. This is based off the book. My wife and I have a very cool story with that one here. All right, and let's see. Okay, now we're going to go over to this section. All right, so we got Hero Escape up here. I love Hero Escape, and this is like all the extra parts that go with it here. Big John, the toilet game as we call it. All right, and these are all the monopolies that we have. This one is... Only made in the UK is the stock exchange version. And you basically have stocks that you're buying and they're going up and down. It's a cool version. Monopoly millionaire cheaters. Socialism. Funny take on socialism for sure. Uh, uh, I like a lot of these uh, more, what's the word I'm looking for? Streamlined monopolies. They don't take long. This game is rare. Uh, this came out, I think, in 2011 or so. But it's uh, it has this big tower like this. It's an electronic tower that basically controls the game. Um, if you find a copy of this, get it. <laughs> uh, so this is a, a any anniversary edition. Fortnite. Mario Kart. This is a fun version. Uh, I've seen a lot of Goliath games lately at the thrift store, so we've gotten a few of these. Uh, Torpedo Attack. Uno Flash. Conspiracy. We have yet to play this one. Uh, some more Monopolies here. And these are the games, vintage games I'm looking to review soon. Uh, we got Mastermind, Word Mastermind. Uh, some of those I've already done. Uh, let's see over here. We got a game called Troke. And these are some that I'd like to get to. Skirmish for sure. That's a war game. Um, and then down here, let's see. We got Cathedral. That's a good game. That's the National Enquirer game, which is actually a funny game. Trump, Perfection, and uh, some more fun little old games here. All right, so now we're going to go over here. Uh, these are the big boxes we got. Crash Canyon, Fireball Island, these games right here. I need to review this one for sure. Um, and then that's Crossfire down there in Chopper Strike. Okay, so below my green screen, uh, I've got King Oil, Tornado Rex, which is a fun, fun game. It from the Pit, the Omega Virus, and Battle Masters. Uh, we got the old Key to the Kingdom, the 80s Mall Madness, Crossbows and Catapults, Voice of the Mummy, these are our big ones here. Space Crusade. This game is like the sister to Hero Quest, and it was only made in the UK, I think. But great game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. Mystery Mansion. Battle Dome is a fun game. And let's see. Here's another game I want to review. Fortress America, G.I. Joe. This is where my uh, Milton Bradley Game Master series are. Uh, laser Attack, Broadsides, and Boarding Parties. 
And then finally at the bottom, let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got some HeroScape boxes and McDonald's game. And that's what we got left. All right, guys. So that is our board game collection. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.